Brian, I own a Visconti Homo sapiens Florentine Hills, and I want to remove the nib and feed unit for cleaning because it is way easier. I've heard that the unit is made of soft plastic. And so if I frequently clean the pen and remove the nib and feed, should I be worried about eventually breaking? I was considering putting some silicone grease on the threads to help it screw out easier and put less stress on the plastic. What are your thoughts on this and will it help? So yes, this is a, a full-size Homo sapiens that has the palladium nib on it. Uh, I actually have a little cheating uh, you know, technique that I have. I have a tool that Visconti provided me because I have strings that I can pull. It's a nib removal tool. Uh, it works on all of the, num the uh, larger uh, Visconti nibs. So if you look at the Visconti nibs, and maybe I'll zoom in a little bit on you, you guys are all gonna ask me for this tool and I don't have them because it's not something Visconti sells. So I'm sorry in advance of showing you something that you can't have. So if you look at, he at the nib unit here, it's a removable nib unit, just like Edison, just like uh, Pelican has on many of their pens. There is these little uh, notches, like there's one here and there's one here. And I have this tool that's kind of a half round, uh, you know, metal cutout, and it has these tiny little protru protuberances coming out the top there that lock in to the nib unit. So it wraps right around the feed like so, and it locks in just like this. And then I can carefully, I'm gonna pay more attention to what I'm doing with the pen than I will on the camera right now. I can lock it in, and with a little bit of pressure, I can twist, and I can remove the nib unit very safely without doing any even touching the nib, and then it all comes out in one housing, like so. Now, do you need this tool? No, you don't. You can just, you know, use your fingers and put it in place. So I don't do that as much because I have the tool. So, but you can do that. You don't want to grab the top of the nib and twist it. These are expensive nib units, but yes, you can do that. You can grab the top like this, and then you can just twist it and it'll remove. Um, so there's two things going on here. You've got these threads here, and then you've got an O-ring on the back here. The O-ring is actually what provides you most of the resistance. So when you feel like you're having to really ration it down in there, it's because the O-ring is kind of locked in down there and it's providing resistance. That's really good because that's gonna keep ink from getting up into the grip section and getting all over here, especially a pen like this that has kind of a clear grip section. It's going to help to keep it cleaner looking when you go. You still might get ink in there when you fill it, but you know what I mean. Um, but what you're asking me is the plastic that's used on this housing, is it softer? Well, it's actually not as soft as you think. It is softer than um, what's used on the body of the pen, but it's actually not too bad. So I wouldn't be as super worried about destroying it. Um, and I would have to believe, I mean, the, the folks at Coles of London, at least in the U.S., they're the U.S. distributors, they're pretty cool, and I imagine that if you do some kind of damage just to the housing, they might be able to supply you, maybe with a fee, I don't know, they might be able to supply you with a new housing. You can pull the nib and feed out of here. I'm not going to do it right now because I know that if I do, I'm going to screw something up just because I'm on camera. Um, if you had to, you could send the nib unit in, they could do it for you, um, but I imagine they could do something there. But you could put some silicone grease on these threads and on the O-ring, that would actually probably be even more important on the O-ring, to keep it slick and to keep it from you know, uh, binding up and, and potentially causing you damage. And then you could, you could be free to remove it more. Um, and the other thing you could do is just maybe not do it quite as often. Yeah, and see, once you remove it for kind of the first time, it's easier to remove it from there on out. And the nice thing too um, is it's got a little bit of give in here, that O-ring. So like me, for example, I like to have my nib aligned where it says Homo sapiens. That's just a weird thing that I like to do. Um, so naturally it starts to give me resistance actually on the complete opposite side. So I can actually just go in and kind of manipulate the nib so that it lines up better. It's gonna be a little bit further down in the grip, but I don't notice that as much as I do uh, as, I, as when it's not lined up here. And then what I do when I cap the pen, um, because it's got the hook lock system, I can cap it so that it's kind of right in the middle of that homo sapiens there. And then I know my clip is aligned with where my nib is. I don't know, that's just me. That's just me. Maybe not everybody's like that, but I like doing that. So there you go, a little bit of education there. This, the same thing goes for the homo sapiens here, as well as the opera master and the divina and the opera metal. A lot of the, the uh, Visconti, basically all the Viscontis that use that larger nib, uh, all do that. 
So kind of a cool little thing there. So um, maybe I can get Visconti to sell, start selling this tool. But honestly, you really don't, it probably wouldn't make sense for you to buy this tool unless you really are doing it that often. Um, so yeah, maybe leave me in the comments if you really want this tool. Maybe I could convince Visconti. I mean, look at this. It's like an internal tool that they use, but they still have the logo in the top of it. I don't know. Maybe it is something I can get. I don't know. I'll do some homework and look into it. But either way, tell me if it's something you really want.